welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, tonight, I'm gonna tune in to just talk to Nunu because it's at there's just a lot of things going on, and uh, I just want to share like a something with Nunu, like a next time next to and just how I feel about certain things. So this video I'm doing here is just to tell Nunu like I'm chewing a gum. Isn't that's like a bad habit, but I'm gonna feel too good. So I won't. I try my best not to smack my mouth too much or make it too obvious so that i'm chewing a gum so um if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button make sure to go subscribe like this video share this video all that nice because something that because something that was on my channel something something <laughs> yes people so tonight i'm here just to um just to like let you guys know like express how i feel about being a Pep teacher, a grade six teacher. Yes, people, them fling me a grade six, and um, I'm like, you know, I don't know how to feel about it. Like when the principal told me, I was like, um, grade six. I'm like, oh, like what's the grade six? She, um, and, and she was like, you don't need to open your eyes. You don't need to worry too much or anything like that but i was like you know i was like grade six i don't think grade six is for me like i'm a new teacher coming in the system like why would you want to give me a grade six class but that's where them fling me that's where i will be catching up <laughs> until whenever all right so the real truth about this you know how i feel to be honest i'm just a type of person where i would be like whoa that's really out of my comfort zone because you know sometimes we as individuals we always try to be you know in our comfort zone where we just want to be comfortable don't have to do too much and i think this is just like something for me just to push me out of the way of not trying to be too comfortable like this is just making me be more on point and making me more versatile than just just a simple regular person just sit down and waiting on information to be fed to me so okay um i don't know grade six out here it's like they used to do gsat no they're not doing gsat no they're doing pep the exam is now called pep and um i think really i am not really sure what is like pep really like I know there are different types of like exams that you will take that adds up to PEP. I'm really not sure what all of them is like. I'm really not sure what they really about. But me being at the grade 6 level, I'm pretty sure I would have to learn about all of them something here and you know, make myself be more informed about all of them little something here. So why I was like all this time when I was signing up the paper, I saw two grades on my paper, but I saw one in a Roman numeral and I saw one in a written like the number six. So I saw three in Roman numeral and then I saw six in six written down. So I was like, okay, um, I remember doing the paper and Odin was like, um, six, grade six. But me, I said, no, I did tell them in the interview that, um, I'm such a versatile, like I'm such a person that I do well at the grade level because she did ask the yes the principal that she when doing the interview she asked um are sorry people are you comfortable teaching a grade a upper grade class and I told my response was that um I've never been because to be honest I've never been at an upper grade class it's the first time I'll be at an upper grade class and you know, just hearing that I'll be at grade six, it kind of shaped me up. Like, it just felt like, whoa, Tasha, I have to just do um, more than you expected to do. It just have to get out of your comfort zone and all of them look at something there. So, um, I am really worried. Like, you know, I'm not worried because I'm going there to do my best. But I'm like, I was saying that being a grade six teacher you know just coming to the school like we were talking about me only we're talking we were talking and saying you know i don't think they'll be putting um <laughs> the life of the school in in a new teacher's hands and that's what we were all ranting about and we said no man that not going that not happen, my new one them not gonna do that and whatever so said so done that's what i was 
introduced to that's what i was granted with that's what i get slapping on my face with so yeah and i remember going home and um i was saying to mommy that um you know mommy a grade six thing and she said what grade six girl you have one this and that. i mean i said mommy really don't you i don't want to teach a grade six class because a grade six class is like a class where um, sorry a grade six class is a class where you as the individual like you're going to be it's a pressured for me i think it's really a pressured area like it's a pressured area because parents are gonna look to you for like big expectations they're gonna look to you for expect for always know everything like always be on point with everything and as i'm saying as i said before that i'm as a new teacher you know fresh out of college does not mean that i know everything so i'm like new in the school system but i am um, very informed on certain things like you know may come with the knowledge and so forth and whatever but um me think like parents will be just like if any little thing um, you're you're going to be the one that them come and just um like you know they want to be like if something go wrong they will be blaming you because to be honest in the in our culture here in jamaica parents are really sometimes very boisterous like them come to fight you if them pick me feel them come to say yo you miss caballero are you the girl that yes you i saw them some of them be of me to everybody but to be honest you have some parent out there like that well just come and say are you make me pick the feel are you this for you that and to be honest it's li- like this is reality L- let's speak realistic parents you come and say when I put a new girl there will come to my school for a grade six, I know my picnic better than done. And to be honest, when them parents and then don't know no, not what going to school for no say their child pretends to be a different person at home than who they actually are at school. And you know what with with you as a teacher tell the parent that listen, you're First of all, you can't even go to a parent and say, listen, your picnic are this and you think no. Because first of all, they're going to tell you straight up, that's not my child. You have some one or two parents who come and say, um, you know, I know that X is the type of person and miss if X misbehave, be- just let me know, just deal with it. On the other hand, you have one different type of parent say, look here, me know why you not stay saying no. And you, girl, me know why you come around putting my pic. No, I'm, I'm, I'm probably coming out strong, but I saw some parents there. I've been at a school and teaching practice where parents come to fight me, say me touch them picnic, and me not even teach them picnic, but touch them picnic. You understand? So, I know what parents are like. Some of them are some really good parents to work with. On the other hand, some of them are some really overwhelming parents to work with. If you're not strong and if you're not firm, they will push you down. Like, they will literally push you down. So, you know, I'm just thinking that, you know, me being there at the pep grade, the preparing students for um, the pep exam and this process is an online process people which you know this is just going to be such a thing that teachers are always sometimes get the harsh the harsh part of this thing because not for the parents them them don't have nothing for them students learn especially during this time and you know you as a teacher you can do so much but no more and some parents really don't understand this so that's what <coughs> sorry so that that's what that's what's kind of worrying me t- sorry that's what's kind of worrying me to say that okay um i'm going to that level and parents will think that you know if i'm new and if i don't try my best and if i don't do the best to make them see that i am fit and i did my best then we won't come walk over you <coughs> sorry disrespect you and let you feel as if you did not do your best when them 
like literally no say expression on this time if the parents then are there neck and neck with their child or children the pit they're not gonna do nothing the pit they're literally not gonna do anything literally not gonna do anything so <clears throat> that's that's what I'm just worried about like you know they put me in the heart of the pressure I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very rough task but a task that I am going to have to prepare myself for um, another good thing is that I won't be working so it's at this school it's a subject based um, thing so um, I'll be teaching a subject I'll be teaching two subjects and another teacher will be teaching another two subjects so it's like two teachers per class so um, I'm not really worried but I'm a bit worried but it's just a process that I'm, he I'm here to learn from whatever situation comes along you know you're not going to always be perfect in that in whatever situation you are placed in sometimes we have the comment of a comfort zone in order to learn so that's my little piece and my mouth is about you know being placed in the heart of the pressure a pep teacher plus plus i have to be very versed with the online thing that's going on now because school is going online straight out because based on all things going on it does not seem as if school will be opening for October, I'm not the Minister of Education. I'm gonna do it with not only with government, some I don't know nothing, but that's just what I think. And yeah, so guys, if you haven't not subscribed, make sure to go subscribe, like this video, share this video, leave a comment until another video video.